Hello friends, this is Eric White. Today I'm introducing two new modules in OpenXML Power Tools. These module enable you to query a spreadsheet for cell values along with all of the formatting for those cells. I'm in the process of putting together a module to convert spreadsheets to HTML that is formatted by CSS. To do this, we need to get the display values for every cell along with the formatting in any specified range. This is one of the common tasks for OpenXML developers to retrieve data from spreadsheets. On first glance, the data in the sheet part looks easy enough to get at. However, there are issues. First of all, the values in the sheet are not exactly what we want. We want those values after formatting them per the styles in the spreadsheet. As an example, here I have a spreadsheet with the value 1.1 in cell A1. If we look at that markup in the sheet part using the OpenXML Package Editor Power Tool in Visual Studio, we'll see the markup that looks like this. This is an artifact of how Excel stores values in spreadsheets. It stores them in a pretty specific format, and we don't want this 1.1 with all these zeros followed by the one. We want the value 1.1 after it has been formatted. Let's say that we have a number like 1,000,000.5 and we format this and we format it. We want actually this string with the commas in it and with the 0 0.50. Let's say that we had a negative number and we had formatted it per that format. Then we want to see it in red with these parentheses around it. Another example is if we put a date into a cell, we can see as we edit it, we see this 12, 11, 2015. The display value in the cell is Friday, comma, December 11th, comma, 2015. But if we look at it in the sheet data, we see this number, this floating point number, 42349, and this is the Julian date of that particular date, and we have to somehow convert it to that long string value. The next issue is, similar to word processing ML, there's a fair amount of indirection in the formatting information in the styles part of a spreadsheet. Let's say I format this number as bad. Let's go look at this markup in the styles part in this spreadsheet. First of all, we see in the sheet part that this cell has an attribute s equal 1. This is the style attribute in the cell. That 1 points to this xf element in the cell xfs element. It has a font ID, a fill ID. That font ID points up here into the fonts element. The fill ID points to this fill element in the fills element, and so on. There is a lot of indirection here, and we want to collect all of this information and make it as accessible as possible. This is in preparation for doing a conversion to HTML that is formatted with CSS. As a first step for writing this conversion from spreadsheet ML to HTML, I have developed two new modules, SML Data Retriever and SML Cell Formatter for OpenXML Power Tools. SML Data Retriever takes as arguments an XLSX file and either 
a sheet name and range, or a table name. It returns some far simpler XML that contains the formatted data for a specified range or table. Let's take a look. One of the new examples in OpenXML Power Tools is this SML Data Retriever 01 example. Let's look at this sample spreadsheet. There are various values in here. We have some numbers, we have some text, we have a formatted number, we have a negative formatted number, and we have a date. Let's run this example and see what we see in the XML that is returned by SML Data Retriever. Up here near the top, we can see this cell A1, and it has the value as retrieved from the sheet part, and it also has a display value, and this is the value that we actually would want to display in a conversion of spreadsheet ML to HTML formatted with CSS. Dropping down here, we can see that number that was formatted in cell A3, and we can see the display value with the appropriate commas inserted and with appropriate formatting. Dropping down to B3, we see the display value is the number in parentheses, and further we can see the display color as red. And we can see the display value is the nicely formatted date as we want to see it. Further, in each one of these cell elements, there is a cell props element that contains all of the necessary formatting for each one of these cells, including its font, the font size, and so on. One thing to note is we will still have to first apply the color as we see it in this font element, and then we will then apply the display color on top of that in the case where the display color is overridden by the cell formatting. Here we can see that format code for the negative number, and we can see that in the case where the number is negative, we're supposed to use the color red to display that value in parentheses. That's where this display color comes from. This XML will be far more suitable for doing a direct conversion to HTML that is formatted with CSS. It is, in fact, an interim step in the conversion to HTML and CSS. While this is useful in the conversion to HTML and CSS, it is also useful in its own right, so I've released it now before I have implemented the next step of transforming this XML into nicely formatted HTML and CSS. SML Data Retriever uses the other new module, SML Cell Formatter, to do the actual formatting of cells in tables. SML Cell Formatter does the work of taking the raw data from the sheet part and applying the format code and returning a string that is suitable for inclusion in the table in HTML slash CSS. This module also is useful in its own right, so I've made it a public API. One thing I want to note about this module. This module takes advantage of the similarities between the format codes in Excel and the format codes in .NET as implemented by string.format. The approach that I take is to convert the format code from Excel to one that is acceptable by string.format. If we drop down here in the module, we can find this function convert format code that takes as input a format code and it converts it to a format code that is suitable to be passed to string.format.
this isn't perfect. There are variations between the two and there are capabilities in Excel format codes where there is no correlation in string.format. However, it will be good enough for a wide variety of scenarios. And further, because this code is isolated into its own module, we can easily enhance this in the future as necessary. My next step in the process of developing OpenXML Power Tools will be to write a module that takes this interim form of XML and produces the nicely formatted HTML and CSS. This, of course, is useful. In addition, there's a very interesting scenario which will then be easy to implement. We can transform this nicely formatted HTML and CSS into a word processing ML table using the relatively new module HTML to WML converter. I screencasted about this module relatively recently. You can find a screencast at this link. Once we have converted that HTML and CSS into canonical word processing ML, in other words, into a docx, we can then include this newly generated docx into other documents using the document builder module. This means that in the process of doing bulk document generation, we can include ranges of data from a spreadsheet in the generated document with all formatting intact. I'll be embarking on this project in the near future. Now that I have extracted all of the desired data from a specified range, the conversion to HTML and CSS is pretty straightforward. Stay tuned at ericwhite.com for further development. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.